Hey everyone, Talking Tommy coming at you from Halifax, West Yorkshire as per usual. Um, been a while, been a couple of weeks or so since I last did a video. Um, so I thought I'd make amends. So sorry about the absence. Just a quick update video of this really. To apologise for my absence, I've been away on business the last couple of weeks. So because of that I've not been able to do videos. I did consider taking my camera with me to make videos, however, um, I didn't in the end, and it's a good job I didn't because I had nowhere private I could smoke, um, and the Wi-Fi in the place where I was staying was so incredibly slow, I mean we're talking dial-up speeds here, um, so yeah. It, it was a good job I didn't bring it with me really because it had just been an encumbrance yeah, anyway I'm back now for now um, just thought I'd like to say do a quick update the housekeeping is what I now refer to as my mystery meerschaum it's uh, African mere and I don't know maybe you guys can help me there's a P and an M on the stem, which I just cannot, for the life of me, identify a maker's mark of that. Doesn't look like a Peterson P. Um, but it could be, it could stand for Peterson Mearsham, I don't know. But there's nothing on the shank. There's no maker's mark anywhere apart from the stem. And I know a couple of other lads from Facebook who've got very similar pipes. Um, different shapes but they have the exact same marker and the exact same area of the stem. No idea. Anyway, the tobacco I'm smoking is one I've mixed myself um, following on from my West Yorkshire Scoundrel mixture which seemed pretty popular, I mean I, got, I didn't hear anything bad said about it, everyone seemed to enjoy it, who got sent some, so I'll be making some more of that, um, but what I thought was, I'd, uh, I'd give aromatics a bash, and that is where Sweet Rosie V was born, so yeah, I've got to say, um, I had a lot of fun making this tobacco, I had a lot of fun making it, because I think you can be a little bit more creative with aromatics and now I'm starting to understand why manufacturers like to make aromatics so much. You can be quite experimental with them. Um, and this one for a first attempt is pretty good to be honest. Um, I'm not going to reveal what's in it but the flavour is a sort of toffee, caramel, um, so toffee caramel with uh, a sort of rosy hint um, and by rosy I mean like a bit like Turkish delight kind of hint to it and yeah it tastes pretty good apologies if I keep leaning up like that but the first take of this video which is going to go on blue for real um, I just done the introduction and the wind blew the camera and luckily I caught it, but yeah, it's not actually my camera, so I don't want to bust it. You know, where I'm sat, I'm actually sat a good uh, 50, 60 feet up, something like that. So if it drops off the balcony, it's gone forever. Um, and I can't afford to replace it right now. So, yeah. So anyway. Yeah, it's really nice, it's quite sweet. It's also got, um, I forgot to mention, it's got vanilla in it. So, vanilla, caramel, toffee, uh, Turkish delight. Which might be too sweet for some people, but. Very nice beard, though, I must say. I smoked this first time on Monday, and I can smell it all night in my moustache. Smell nice. It's 
gone nice and sweet. So, yeah, so other than that, what else have we up to? Um, got some more blends um, I'm going to want to have a go at because West Yorkshire Scoundrel was, for all intents and purposes, an English mixture. Um, apart from it didn't have Oriental, so does it still classify as an English? I don't know, I'm not pedantic enough to care, to be quite honest with you. I'm going to call it an English mixture. Um, so, yeah. So I've done an English, I've done an aromatic, I've got an idea for another aromatic, which is be more fruit-based. And I've got an idea for a Lakeland that I want to make, so... Updates to follow. And because as you've seen from the artwork I've just shown you, my artwork isn't particularly good. So, um, I may recruit a mate of mine to uh, design me some, uh, some nice labels. So I'm thinking is, if you're popular enough, I might um, sort of, not manufacture them as such, but sort of make some more of them on a bigger scale, because these jars, they're good for 100 grams. Um, so 100 grams will start like four ounces. Um, so it'd be good for that, but when you're sending out samples to people, it soon runs out. So what I'm thinking is if I get bigger jars, uh, I can fit maybe 500 grams in, and then just uh, up my game a little bit. If it, if it's popular enough, I hasten to add, because I'm not just gonna chuck money into some mindless enterprise. That's not gonna work. But I'm thinking, um, especially seeing as you know, I'm unlicensed, so it's kind of like not legal, but fuck the police. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to, um, once I've got my sort of stock recipes and I've got them down to where I want them to be and they're 100% how I want them to be, um, I'll make up some on a larger scale, providing me popular and everything, people like them. And then what I'll do is arrange for some sort of uh, decent artwork <laughs> to be drawn. Um, I mean, I'm looking to like putting them in um, you know, some sort of heat sealed packaging and either sell or send to people and stuff. You know. I mean, I'm not just going to give them away, I'm going to have to make something back. As long as I'm making back what I've spent, I'm happy to continue doing it really. But we'll see. It's, it's a hype dream at the moment. Eh? See what I did there? No, I'm not proud of that joke. Uh, oh, pun, it's not a joke really. Um, so, yeah, that's an idea I've been having today. Um, so. Watch this space, I'll update as and when. I'd like once again to thank everybody who entered my competition, our giveaway, whatever you want to, however you want to say it. The actual drawing video I did was quite quick, um, so I didn't really get a chance to oh, I feel properly show my appreciation. But yeah, thank you very much to everyone who took part, winners, um, I'm still putting your boxes together, I'm waiting on the tobacco delivery, but I say waiting, I ain't actually ordered it yet, I only decided what I was going to order the other day, so. pending funds in my account, when I will order, and it'll all, it'll all get sent out sort of early July, um, and I'm also going to send you a wee sample of Sweet Rosie V, so, you see, I'd like to get into pipe making. I made a pipe once. Um, it was a hobby block I bought off eBay. Um, I bought it off the now uh, sadly deceased Alexander Zavos uh, over in Athens. And I made a pipe and I did it all by hand because I don't have a way for any of that. Um, so that was really fun absolute crippling agony in my hands afterwards 
Man, do I appreciate handmade vibes now. But, um, I'd like to get into that more. However, I live in an apartment. I live in a two bedroom apartment. There's two bedrooms, two bathrooms, well, one bathroom and one ensuite. Um, and a hallway and a living room kitchen. Oh, and a boiler room. So at the moment, it's not possible. I, I don't have the space for any of the kit or the gear or any of the supplies needed. It's just, I don't really have a time either, to be quite honest with you. Um, so unfortunately, I can't really do at the moment. However, hand mixing um, tobaccos, I do have time for. It's pretty quick and easy. Um, I'm not doing anything spectacular. I'm not growing and curing my own tobacco. Um, again, time, land, supplies, money. It's all things I don't have to float into it. Um, but the way I'm doing it is I'm mixing existing blends, making them into a hybrid mixture. Without the use of a press, I'm putting them into airtight jars once they've all been hand mixed. Again, I don't have a press. I looked into buying a cheese press the other day, and those are redonkulously expensive. Redonkulous, and considering I won't be using it for its intended purpose, I'm not spending that much money. You're talking in excess of £100, it's not worth it. Um, I looked into making my own cheese press, and that seemed like a lot of effort considering I don't really need to do it. What I'm doing at the moment seems to be working pretty well. So. Anyway, I'm rambling on, um, but yeah, so I'm still putting together the giveaway boxes, um, thank you again everyone who entered, I'd like to do an honourable mention actually, which I intended to do on my video, uh, oh, God, which now probably seems a little bit insulting if not the honourable mention, I'll do it anyway, I'll do it anyway, you won't mind, uh, I'd like to do an honourable mention, to um, Skipton95 who is one of my subscribers and he always I'm presuming he I hope you're a he um, I don't know by the name I'm guessing you're a he by uh, how you speak or what you've written anyway, um, so I'm guessing you're a he um, I'm going to stick with that he's been uh, a, very, a subscriber of mine since I started out pretty much um, nearly a year ago um, and he's always been a constant supporter he's always been very very supportive and very very friendly um, and there's been a good exchange of banter between us um, when he's commented on my videos and everything so I just like to say thank you um, because of the criteria for my videos in VR he doesn't make videos um, as yet. Um, I say as yet because you never know, he might start doing it. Um, but yeah, so I just want to say thank you, really. Um, yeah, in the contest, but he did say, you know, good luck to everyone and all the rest of it. And, you know, he's a really nice guy. Really nice guy. Um, so I just want to say a special thank you to Skip to 95. Um, I don't really have much else to say on this video. Um, just checking in, really. I'm going to be doing some more videos this weekend. I'm going to do um, an OTC review. Uh, get back on that. I don't have many blends left to do, but I've just been putting it off for one reason or another, and we're busy and everything. So I will do one of those hopefully this weekend. Um, I will also be doing um, a video very soon. Um, my friend Jim Kane sent me a sample of his Franken mix um, for me to review on camera, like first impressions and stuff. 
um, which I thought was a really cool idea because what he's done is he's written on the letter that came with it what's in it but then he's stapled it over so I can't see and he says it's to be read either during or after the review and I thought it would be a cool idea as if, if I'm smoking it I can make my guesses as the way it is see how well trained my palate actually is um, and then read out how right or wrong I was um, which sounds pretty fun sounds like it could be quite a laugh that so I'm going to be doing that um, and I can't think of any other videos I'll be doing at the moment um, so it's definitely that one with small TCs and videos like this where I just talk shine for 15 minutes um, so that's about it for now so I'll love you and leave you um, that's how we do it around here and I will speak to you all again very soon until then take it easy and uh, never do all for now unless it's for yourself catch you later